One. Go for lunch. Go for lunch. Go for lunch. Go for lunch. Let's have lunch. We're go for lunch. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I can't. I can't. can't we'll let's go. Later. Let's go. Oh, okay. Wait, who's launching in ten? Continuity check. Check. Launching in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Yeah, we have damage. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like torn up. Damn, those rockets heavy. There's an egg and a bunch of batteries. So now we're gonna start this. Thing. Oh, are we already doing that? Yeah, we move fast. Move the checklist, bro. It's fine. It's just... All right, we're going. Launching in. All systems go. Skies clear, ground Five. clear. Five seconds. Going in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh oh. Bye bye, electronics. Oh. Well, this one's doing well. We got a bit of a. Uh... <laughs> Bro, that was funny. My holding. Uh, we'll go for the electronics first. I'll recover. Do you want me to recover that? No, no. Electronics. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna check right now. All right, these have opened. Okay. Check that. That's this could be a problem. We're just gonna ignore that. Why are they open? It is still logging. Why are they open? I don't know, but it is still logging. That may have been a, we may have gotten a good data collection. Okay, okay. Okay, video. Oh, well, it's definitely not gonna work. We're checking the data. Okay. Data collection. And? I think we do have something. We're gonna see, but this is only, uh, so we need to see if it got both flights. Because remember, you didn't reset it. Oh, right. So these are the first two flights that uh, our team has have done for TARC, the American Rocketry Challenge, and the goal of that is to get a rocket to go as close as possible to 850 feet. 
So we're using a unique approach where the rocket can change its frontal area to control itself exactly to 850 feet um, using onboard electronics and servos that move panels that can stick up to the airstream. Um, so on these two specific flights, we were looking to test uh, the state estimator on board the rocket, which is it has a bunch of sensors, there's a barometer and accelerometers, and it uses those to calculate altitude and velocity. We also wanted to find the co coefficient of drag of the rocket with the drag brakes closed and with them open. So the first flight, as you could obviously see, didn't go too well. Um, and we only had two motors, so we were able to fix the damage and go again. But we really wanted to get two flights done uh, that day instead of just one. Uh, so yeah, that's not that great. But we still did get pretty good data from the second flight. Um, the estimates are not that bad. They're a little bit off. And I think one of the accelerometers might be uh, poorly tuned or not calibrated. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, yeah. So it's not like it's, it could have been a lot worse. We got successfully got data back. The rocket is in relatively good condition. And yeah, we should hopefully be able to fly again soon. That's all.